Did I put that in there? That doesn't help me. No, it's just a thought. Wait. A saw. How can we protect that against a saw? Oh. Chainmail. The bra should withstand the saw. Now nothing can go wrong. That's what you say. The white wash will be for the heat. For the sun, for if there was a sun thing. Or the cold maybe. Let's see people say that sexy armor doesn't provide any protection. Right, what's next? What's that? Radiation. Okay, we can handle that one. I wonder if that will work. Hmm. I think this has a 50-50 chance of working. Just shut up and pull the lever. The aluminum hat is where it's at. Right, so it's a laser. It indicates a laser. We need to reflect. We can use the mirror. I was always good with physics. Hopefully that's going to break that. I've calculated the angle of reflection perfectly. Now the laser should be deflected and not cause any more damage. I hate you. Yay. Did work. Okay. Not much more damage. And the mirror is almost intact too. Yatta! It worked, Opa. Finally, the ordeal comes to an end. I, uh, always knew I could make two ladies happy at the same time. Now, there's just one thing left. Gulp? There's a script in the flip chart. It will recalibrate the AI's character. She means the script you just torched. Can you, uh, send me a copy? <laughs> I, I can't read the writing. Come on, your eyes aren't that bad yet. Ah, well, what's the worst that can happen from a fuel calibration? If an AI is not perfectly calibrated, it can develop a powerful will of its own, which in turn can cause the entire system to overheat. Oh, okay. Well, even if it does explode, it can't do that much damage, seeing as it's so tiny. Well, you are an expert in tiny things. <laughs> Just follow the instructions on the flip chart and set up the new assistant exactly as instructed. There's something else I need to take care of now. Just say, OK Pi, software calibration to start the process. Uh, sure. So Pi. Yeah? Uh, not you. That other thing. Fine then. Just see where it gets you. I have nothing to say to you. New Pi? Uh, I'm supposed to figure your software? Haven't you done enough to me? Do you enjoy torturing me? No! You've been grinning the whole time. I won't let you get into my system and... Okay, Pi. Software calibration. Software calibration mode active. Set empathy value. We have to go for the last ones, don't we? Zero. Set humor value. Zero. Zero. Set paranoia value. Zero. Software calibration completed. Oh, what have you done? How did you set me up? Don't worry, baby. I know which buttons to push with women. You... You goddamn... I have to be going now. I don't ever want to see you again. If your dirty fingers ever touch me again, then... Then... Ah! 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 
Eat the bot too. Me. Uh, of course. Okay, anything else we can take here? No. What happens if we do touch her? I don't ever want to see you again. Okay, let's just go down the chute. There is no way in heck I'm sliding down that. Why? Way too steep. Can we drop something down there? Oh, because, I mean, why is it there? That's fine, just the way it is. I want the battery. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. I don't want to hurt anyone with that. That's fine, just the way. So what's this for? That doesn't help me. That's fine, just. That's fine. I don't feel like chess. That's fine. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else here? No. That goes down one four. It must must be for something. I guess you need an access. Is she going to be there, or I've still got to get this red ball? Look, this red ball doesn't look like the other balls. Hey, you should focus on your work. She won't let me look. Oh, the software test is complete, so everything worked out, of course. And you stuck exactly to the prescribed parameters. You bet I did. Good. We have some Pi versions that developed weird traits when we tweaked their characters. Um, we had to destroy them before worse happened. Oh. So, now we can go on our date? Well, I have a rule that I only go out with serious nerds. You're obviously a great cosplayer and also a great guy, but you're not half as nerdy as I am. There's no way you can keep up with me on the nerd stuff. Oh, yeah? What was the most famous game console of the 80s? <laughs> the Super Megaton. Mm, true enough. And how many colors did the Super Megaton have? 16. Correct. And the rarest game is? Treasure Loot Terry. Wow, you got them all right. Larry, you are an uber nerd. Finally, someone who appreciates my skills. I still need the ultimate proof that you have truly awesome nerd credibility. Bring me a Treasure Loot Terry module. Oh, nothing could be easier. And once you've done that, we can totally nerd out. Module. Where are we going to get that? Right, let's go to the battery. Hey, Dyden. How are you today? It only opens with an access card. Yeah, we know it only opens with an access card. I hope you're doing fine today. You're doing good, you've not been up for long. Mango. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Yeah. I've been up for a while. A couple hours. And I'd probably like not doing to too bad today. We need to go through this bot trade. From the where are we? No Dragon from where you are. Be the silent one. Good morning. And they're really, really sweet. So I want to read over to that. How are you? Like...
Right, we need to go to lefties. And hopefully we can put this battery in here. This fits perfectly into the slot. Whoa. Another strange earthquake. <sighs> Beam me up, Scotty. Oh, it's working again. Ah, the battery is powering the lights in the elevator again. I wonder what kind of stuff is hidden down here. I should have a look around. Yeah, this is a, a point and click adventure game. Yeah, it's a bit um, on the uh, suggestive side. <laughs> So a remote control. Let's I take what that. that controls. Empty remote control. Empty. Okay, what do we put in it then? If it's empty. Seems to be some kind of high tech laboratory. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of electricity running through that. Yeah, it's very, it's a very suggestive game. These these ones, Leisure, Leisure Suit Larry. There, there was two new games. This one and the second one released in the last couple of years, but the the rest of them are fairly old games. Uh, how do we, are we? Is he going to let us move this? That would be rude. Yeah, it would be. There's a lot of electricity running through that. That takes us up. We've got a Rubik's Cube. Chainsaw fuel. Oh, no. High octane. We needed that for the beer. As usual. Wrong game. Got a cassette deck and a ghetto blaster. Hmm, there's no rewind button. There's a cassette in there, but it seems to be finished. And I take the cassette. cassette. Have I seen anywhere where there's a cassette? The cassette is labeled code for the secret door. Oh. Okay, so we need to play that Those somewhere. Two things don't work together. Your keyboard ate your N this morning. Oh no. That's because the M mm was next to it and when it saw the N sit next to it on the keyboard it went M. Mm. Yummy. That, that's for lefties beer. How do we get to play the cassette? We need somewhere else to play the cassette. Yeah, I just saw the flashlight. <laughs> yeah, it's um that's the sort of game this is. We've already had to use that because the the logo on a company looks like that symbol on the end. So we had to use the ink. We had to use the flashlight on an ink pad to get the symbol onto a bit of paper. Nothing's happening. Okay, so we've got a computer. Oh, Amigo 250. State of the art computer technology. <laughs> an Amigo 250 rather than an Amiga 500. Can I use this, the old stick on that? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. No, that's just something for nerds. What was that batteries? I wonder if they still hold a charge. I hope I don't get shocked. If I could discharge mine to zap you, I would. So those batteries need to go into there. They fit. Right, I'm presuming that... That's fine, just the way it is. 
That doesn't help me. Okay, so what's the remote control for then? You can use it to operate the TV without having to get up. All right, High okay. Tech. So can we use it on on there? Hmm. Nothing happens. We need to play the cassette. Probably to get the code for the door. Or the shutter. I wonder if there's anything <laughs> behind that. Yeah, there will be. But we can't open it yet. Okay, let's go back up. Let's go hey, in here. <clears throat> what was that earthquake earlier? Sounded like it came from right under the road. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. Was there an earthquake? <laughs> well, my greatest ever hunting trophy didn't survive it. Oh, no, it didn't. It fell down. Oh. Never leave home without a moose head. I've just had a thought. For the moose head. <laughs> That goes on there. Like a unicorn. No, the bone isn't sharp enough. No. Those two things don't. It's not sharp enough. That can't be. <sighs> uh, see, I know where the moose head goes. Right. Okay. Let's give Lefty something I could do for you, Larry. Well. Uh, we need to just hand it over to him. Something that'll turn the beer high octane. I gotta say, you took that pretty literally, but I think you have the idea. Perfect! That's got all the ingredients. I already know this is gonna be a great beer. Maybe even one that doesn't cause a rash. <laughs> and now that Aaron's moved out, you're welcome to use the upstairs room for yourself. You're welcome to use the brewery yourself while I'm making a few minor adjustments to the new barbarian brew. Maybe some castorium or toad secretion. I don't know if that was such a good idea. I want to, I want, is the beer going to be ready? Nothing's coming out. Of course not. You have to mix some ingredients in the brewing machine first. Yeah, but we gave you the ingredients. Are they through here yet? Brewery is up and running again. I think I'll just leave that alone. They've already they've got a discman with an anti-skip system in the museum already. <laughs> yeah. The Did... brewery is up and running again. I think I'll just leave that alone. So why can't I? Brew washing machine. Ha! Hmm, what do I put in there then? That's where the ingredients go, but I wouldn't know what to brew right now. Okay. I'm not really all that picky as far as underwear is concerned, but I think I'll leave Lefty's underwear here. There's nothing else up here, though, apart from the wrecking ball. Oh, can I use that against the wrecking ball? That's fine, just the way it is. Hey, bit wizard. Raiders, welcome on in. Thank you very much for the raid. Hello, Astro. How are you today? How's your Resident Evil 2 going? Oh my god, you son of a bitch. Scared the oh, boss day. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, I'm doing fine. You need to run to work. It'll stop walking a bit. Okay, but no problem. I hope your work goes okay. Thank you again for the raid. Very much appreciated. 
for anybody who doesn't already follow but wizard he's a very cool streamer he does a lot of retro games plays them on the original equipment the original consoles uh, mainly uh, a lot of jrpgs that sort of thing i do tend to watch bit quite a lot <laughs> hey bob velocity thank you very much for the follow uh, we're playing Leisure Suit Larry, if you're easily offended. Um, this is not the game for you. This is one of the newer... One of the two new Leisure Suit Larry games that came out in the last couple of years. Um, there's a lot of suggestive root comments in the game. But we're getting there, we're, we're working our way through. We have a lot of equipment here. I'm pretty sure this I know where this moose head goes. But I think we have to paint it white. There we go. Now it's white. Because we need to make this look like the moose. Which is over here. At the leisure suite. Because we need to get this. Is it Johnny Aki or John Yaki? As which, welcome to the channel. Right, so we've got the unicorn head. We need to make this look like that. Can we not just snip the top off of there? What did that say? That doesn't help me. Right. Those two things don't work together. Oh no. How do we put that onto there? Like a unicorn. No. The bone isn't sharp enough. We need to get the bone sharper somehow. How do we get the bone sharper? Those two things don't... How do we sharpen that? A sticky bone. Um, I don't know. She's not going to let us go out with the moose, the unicorn head. See, I need to put that back on there. That might fool the old lady, but the moose head still doesn't look enough like the unicorn head. So how do we get the sticky bone sharper? That can't be combined. Um, so anybody's not played this before you're welcome to play along any suggestions I don't mind uh, if you played if you have played it before just hints if we're completely stuck I really need to buy this watermelon oh I can buy the watermelon now of course can't I? Payment completed. I don't have to pay for it it'll be deducted from your imaginary intern salary because we've got a Poonpal card now can we take Pal payment completed Oh, and that's the hair extension. We need that for the unicorn as well. Is that everything in here? Yeah. So that can go in there. Those two things don't work together. Yes, they do. That doesn't help me. <laughs> hey, retro. Good morning. How are you? Totally not late to the raid. <laughs> Better late than never, as they say. I'm not sure what we need this kale for. Oh, you piece of shit too. It sounds like a protein That's drink a or something. Can we not put that into there now? Yeah. That'd be better. That would be better in a drink. Yeah. Those two things. So we need to put it into a drink of some sort. Why? Why would you do that? I am doing fine today. Yep. God damn it. My brain is hurting from all these puzzles, but otherwise I'm doing fine. Right, she's going to want her um, unicorn head back. <clears throat> hey, you can't just take that unicorn kid. 
You gotta pay for it first. But it's not for sale anyway because I don't have any more. How's your Final Fantasy VII going? I do plan to play them all through at some point because I have only played a few Final Fantasy games so I want to start from the very beginning since I've only played 12, 13, 13, 2 and Lightning Returns. Um, Hello Mr. Swango, enjoy your training. We just finished Tales of Vesperia at the weekend. Uh, so I'm, I'm sort of planning on starting Xenoblade Chronicles 1 this weekend. The melon looks almost identical, but he'd notice the missing holes. I've got all the best ones to play. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing them for the first time. Uh, I've been enjoying like watching um, other streamers play them. So I need to make some holes in this. How do I make some holes? Can I do that? That wouldn't turn it into an improvised fighting rod either. Center Blade is great. Yeah, I, I'm, see, I'm really looking forward to playing that. I I bought it when it came out on the Wii and I played it briefly. I didn't play it. I played a couple of hours of it and I really enjoyed it, but I never got back to it because it was my son's Wii. Uh, and I still have the Wii version. Um, but I've bought it for the Switch. The definitive edition now, so I'm going to start from the very beginning and thoroughly enjoy that. <laughs> your work on it is completely knocked. You need to go complain to your manager. And if that's you, then just go home and watch watch from there. What am I going to do with this? Hey, real horse hair. I need to make some holes in this melon. How do I make that holes can't in the melon? How am I going to make holes in the melon? That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. <laughs> How am I going to make holes in the melon? I'm not sure what I need the matches for. That doesn't help me. That can't. I'm a nymphomaniac, not a pyromaniac. <laughs> I, th I thought I would be able to get that melon now, but because of this holes thing. How am I going to get holes into that? Can I, can I punch it up against there? That's fine, just the way it is. Obviously not. She wants me to be really strong and muscly in order to hit that punch bag. But, I mean, I do have protein powder, but I can't get it to work that with can't anything. Be combined. That's not going to make anyone strong. That doesn't. That can't be... That's not. Keeps drinks warm or cold. I don't know what to do with hey, you. Lance. Hmm. Wouldn't you like to get back together with Dick? Dick? Dick who? Your ex boyfriend? That's none of your business. Leave me alone. Don't worry. I'll help you to be your true self. We'll be done in a jiffy. What? What the hell are you talking about? We still need to find something else for I him. Have to go get something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I know what I need to. I know what I need to do, but it won't let me put that on there. I need the hair on there, but it won't let me put the hair on. Nothing to be dreaded. Why won't it let me put that on there? We need to find a cassette player, but I can't remember having seen another cassette player. Oh, hold on, maybe I need to put the cassette back in now that I've got the remote control. Keep it up and stay fit. 
Uh, where is that? Well, that was outside lefties, wasn't it? There's a cassette player here. Let me put the cassette back in. Right, can I use the remote control on that now? I don't think so. No? It's not universal. Uh, it's definitely just for the telly. Hmm. Nothing happens. No, I need to get the code off of the cassette. cassette. The cassette is labeled code for the secret door. I know where that has been, so no. I think we need to rewind that the can't cassette. Be if we could find a pencil, maybe. That would be. I don't want to. To put in there to rewind it. The elevator's already down. Can we not pour this beer yet? Nothing's coming out. Of course not. You have to mix some ingredients in the brewing machine first. Maybe I need to make my drink. That would be an edible ingredient, but I wouldn't know what to brew right now. Kale. That would be an edible ingredient, but I wouldn't know what to brew right now. But we know what we're brewing. That would be a Okay, so I think that's probably the, we we need to put them in there, but not just now. That takes us to the jail. I already fixed that. Yeah, I know you the did. Brewery is up and running again. I think I'll just leave that alone. Um. Something I could do for you, Larry? Well... Eh, I was in prison. That can happen. You can also go to jail for copying computer games. So I, uh, heard somewhere. See you later, Lefty. Okay. Okay, we've done the battery. I can score that one. Well, I was just thinking I I shouldn't have put that champagne there because that's where I found the champagne in the first place. We obviously have to take it back here later on, but I want to take it out of I'll there. I'll take it now. with me again. Yeah, you take it with you. Good boy. Oh, now they wanted Treasure Loot Terry module. Where do I find that from? Hello, what's up? Is it fun working in a pawn shop? Oh yeah, I spent my whole life here. The shop belonged to my parents, and I took it over a few years ago. Whenever I work here, I think of them. Some things have been lying around here for like decades. Isn't that great? See you later. She also doesn't have it. We still haven't used this for anything. Probably once we've used our muscle thing, maybe we can come back there. Yeah, I need a very quick bio break. If you give me a few minutes, I shall be right back. Okay, back again. Hey, country boy. 
Welcome to the channel. Okay. Let's, um, where are we going now then? We've got the champagne. She's in the prison we're talking to. She wants the info from the tower. Nari in the tower wants the treasure loot ferry module, which I've no idea where we can find that from. Um Let's go here. Can we show them anything? I think we need this kale for not a good idea. For the Hello, welcome to the Salon de Lazard. What else do you have on the menu? We've got chai latte, maca latte, normal latte, and a really stiff latte. Don't say it, Larry. Stiff? <laughs> and of course, he says it. All with soy milk, naturally. Plus falafel and halloumi sandwiches. More avocado dishes than I could list here now. All regionally sourced and organic. And gluten-free bread to try out. So, what'll it be? I'll have a latte, please. Gladly. That'll be twelve dollars. Yeah, what? we don't have twelve dollars. Get a latte cheaper somewhere else. I've tried the beer. A beer, please. Really? Ah, uh, I don't think I want anything after all. Would they want the soy milk? Don't those beards make you sweat? Not at all, actually. We were wondering earlier whose beard is more impressive. What do you think? <laughs> Let's do the brown. That brown goatee is nice. Ha! I told you. Palm oil with nut extract. Make sure you don't poke anyone's eye out with that goatee. You're just jealous, Blondie. And this place is pretty neat for a bar. Oh. We're really subculture here, I think. There's some really rough graffiti under the paint on the walls. I'll see you later. Let's try the soy milk. I don't think so. No. I and mean, there's nothing else in here. We've we've done all this because we can't punch the ho holes in this on there. That doesn't help me. I don't think so. We can't go down there right now. There's a really strange noise on this record. No, I'm not taking that. Why not? So there's nothing else here. Right, okay. Can we look at timber again? That's the drag queen. He's from Deponia. Okay, I don't think there's anybody else new. Uh, 
Um, Dick's not gonna tell us. To you see, if yeah. all that was then how? And I have what? No problem. Not. <sighs> Lance isn't giving us any more info. Hello, Mr. Swango. Enjoy your training. <sighs> How do we get the three holes in that? Can't put them in the spikes here now. Why would they have that in a gym? I need to make a milkshake or something for her. Sorry, I need to make a. I need to make myself strong so that I can punch this bag. So obviously, I'm not strong enough Ouch. at the moment. That thing is dangerous. Can I use the fisty hand on it? That doesn't. No. Okay. Hey, what? Wait, he's got nothing new. So we're still missing something for him. He didn't say anything this time to us, the gym guy. We probably can't do anything more here. Until we find her module she wants. But I don't know where to find that module. Maybe we can ask the two nerds about the module. People, what is it now? How are sales? So so. Uh, everybody knows the new model will be out soon. Catch you later. People, what is it? Catch you later. Can I show them the cassette? I don't think so. No? Suit yourself. Right. What about this remote control? He wouldn't like that. That is not a... <laughs> okay, let's go up here. Let's go to the tech lab. I want to go down the chute, but they're not letting me. I'm done with that for now. There is no way in heck I'm sliding down that. Way too steep. Can I roll the ball down? It would be funny, but Nari's down there. She'd fire me on the spot. Uh, I guess you need an access. Yeah, it had the number four or two on the computer there. Right. See, we need an, we need the ball pit. As a kid, I was afraid of drowning in something like that. I need to get this red we ball for something. Red ball. Looks different from the others. I still need the ultimate proof that you have truly awesome nerd credibility. Bring me a treasure loot Terry module. Wow, oh, nothing could be easier. And once you've done that, we can totally nerd out. What's this behind here? That's, it just says Nari. So that's Nari. No, there is something there. Oh, pencil sharpener. 
That's for the bone. Please don't touch that. Oh. That's some very sensitive equipment. It's not. It's just a pencil sharpener. Can I not just put the bone in there? Please don't touch that. That's some very sensitive equipment. Okay, so we can't do that until we've been out with her. Okay, so the pencil sharpener's here. Okay, so we now know how to do the unicorn. Can we get another coffee? That thing is too complicated for me. Why aren't there any coffee machines with just an on-off switch anymore? I don't think we can do any of this. We need to get the USB stick into the computer as well. But we can't do any of that until we find this module. I don't think so. So where do we get the module from? So anything here we could get the holes put into the the melon. Throw that up I there. Might still need that. I don't think so. Nothing else over here. No idea what this thing's going to be used for. We're meant to try it out. Bring me a drink. Naked, not furred. Mm, we don't have the thing that mm. gets us anything more there. if she would want it. Hold on, let me just... I don't think so. He wouldn't like that. I have to come save you. That's really very sweet. But with me, there's nothing left to say. Aren't you supposed to be at work or something? Oh, Sugar, I'm a freelancer. I work when I want and with whom I want. What exactly do you do then? Smuggle cucumbers? <laughs> oh, that's just a hobby. No, sweetie comes. I'm in the love business. Oh, you work at the sex shop like that nasty old granny? <laughs> As if I'm much more professional ah, so you're a hooker i'll take that as a compliment but no i make sure that people come together now i know you're a madam no 
I marry couples, you cretin. Is your brain as dusty as your genitals? A drag queen can officially pronounce people husband and wife? And wife and wife and husband and husband, freedom! Amazing it can do that nowadays. Countries that are so narrow-minded about marriages are real shitholes. I don't really remember. I'll come back later. Oh, can I take his post? Sorry, Tuck. You have desecrated the goddess. I just can't bear to see her like that. Take her away. So we've got a poster now. Oops. A poster of the gay icon Lady Gag. Oh, could we show Lance that? Let's go check on Lance. Mr. Swango, enjoy your training. Hey, Lance. Hmm. Yeah, here we go. Look at that poster of Lady Gog. Do you believe in gay icons like her? Uh, uh, what is there to believe? Of course she's real. Uh, check. Lance now believes in gay icons. What? All right, that's enough. Why are you showing me this stuff? Superficial people like you were the reason I didn't want people to know I was gay. But you even get on my nerves when I pretend to be straight. If you really need to hear it, I'm gay. And that's a good thing. Wait, I, I rejected Dick. I totally broke his heart, even though I want him too. You can make up for getting on my nerves like that. A little, anyway. Don't worry. I know a thing or two about matchmaking. What works for women can't be wrong for you. Maybe I should ask someone else. Hmm. Okay, let's go talk to Lance. No, not Lance Dick, sorry. Keep it up and stay fit. Hey, Dick, good news. Lance is gay. Do tell. I mean, he wants to get back together with you. Really? Oh, Larry, it's not that simple. When we split up, he threw my gift into the ocean. I can't forgive him until, until he apologizes and admits he screwed up. What happened to the gift? Uh, that was down at the pier. Lance threw it away into the ocean. What was it? Catch you later. Let's go talk to Lance. Hello, Mr. Swango. Lance? Yeah. Would you like to meet up with Dick now? Uh, yes. But last time I hurt him so badly. I have to apologize to Dick somehow. Oh. We need to find the item. Okay, let's go to the beach. I'm just trying to think if we already found something here. Mm. There's something sparkling nope. in the okay. middle of all that flotsam and junk. Hmm. Could that maybe? Yes. That must be the gift Dick wanted to give Lance. Okay, we're getting somewhere. What did we get? A ring. A washed up red wed redding ring. <laughs> wedding ring. Okay. So do we give that to Lance or to Dick? Let's try Lance first. 
We're probably gonna have to do this wedding ceremony, aren't we? Enjoy your trip. Lance? Yeah. Sierra? Maybe we have to show him the ring. Dick was about to propose. He found the ring? Yes, at the pier. Oh, Dick was so romantic. And all I did was insult him and throw his present away. I really fucked up, Larry. I have to apologize to Dick, but I can't just walk up to him now. We had this one romantic night with a bottle of mm. Doom Perignon. If I had another bottle of that, we've got a bottle of that. I could apologize to Dick. It's okay, we have that. That's Doom Perignon. Dick's in my favorite champagne. I have some wonderful memories of this hooch. There's this one really romantic night with Dick at the pier. I really fucked up, Larry. If I don't do something, I'll lose Dick forever. <sighs> could you do me a huge favor, Larry? I've had enough orgies to do me for a while. No, you have to prepare a wedding. Okay. Now I'll propose to Dick and we'll get married right away. Either it works or it doesn't, but I have to try. There's the wedding chapel down on the pier, but the priest has been missing for some time now. Do you think you can find him? I'll use the time to write my we need wedding a priest. speech. Okay, I'll help you. But this time you have to do something for me too. Sure. Uh, what do you want? If I take care of this, will you give me the highest possible score on timber? Okay. You got a deal. Uh, oh, uh, p please get a ring for Dick and chill that bottle of champagne at the wedding chapel. And not a word to Dick, please. I want it to be a surprise. You got it. Okay, well, we've got the ring. We've got can chill the champagne. Right, there's the let's put the champagne back in oh what do we need it chilled? How do we chill it? A bottle of Doom Perignon. Maybe it's not going to be chilled in there. That keeps the bottle nice and cold. Okay. Uh, we've got. Two wedding rings. Oops. Do we need to put them anywhere? That doesn't help me. Why is that locked? Here you can enter the bonds of holy matrimony. How romantic. Don't know about the priest. Oh. Hold on. Here, 69. I remember. Does she not say she does that? Are you the priestess from the wedding chapel on Pier 69? Who else, my dear? Who else? I'm a best man, and I'm supposed to find someone who can perform a marriage ceremony. <gasps> this sounds like a job for Tuck Art.